best friend, here we are again. Way in day, baby. How you feeling? Yes, sir. I feel great. Easy cut, easy money, just like last time. As far as thoughts now, you just stepped off from official weight, you've gotten rehydrated, you've done your face off picture. What's the thought on your mind and how are you processing everything right now? Uh, it's just another day. The only difference is I had to cut a little bit of weight this time. I got to see my opponent finally, feel his energy, <clears throat> man, telling himself that he has to have this confidence, but it's just another day for me. I'm getting ready to go fight and do what I love to do. As far as any sort of external thoughts, are, are you free of everything as you walk into there? This is just all in the moment? Yeah, I'm just keeping myself in the moment. There is no external pressure. There is no external factors in this at all. It's, this is all intrinsical. This is all what I wanted to do since I was a kid. And this is just an opportunity that I jumped at. You've talked about this just in between with us off camera multiple times, but you are really remembering why you got into this right now, why you were a fighter. Can you talk about that for a second and just that mindset? Yeah, I mean, everyone likes to get uh, a little anxious when it comes to fighting because you got to take your shirt off, you got to do all this, everyone's in front of you, you got a crowd, you know, we're in a cold ice arena, you know, people get chilly. But I'm just taking it back to the days where, you know, it's eighth period and someone heard that I want to be an MMA fighter, so they want to come out and test themselves. And I was like, I got 20 minutes before football practice, let's go get this done before we go, you know? And it's, I'm just taking it back, this is what I'd love to do. We're gonna go out and scrap, and whatever happens, happens. You're from Pennsylvania. From Pennsylvania, that's right, baby. You've got that blue collar mentality. Do you feel like that helps you within your fight approach that every time that you show up, it's time to bring the hard hat and lunch pail? Yeah, yeah, that definitely has been ingrained in me since I was a kid. You know, my <clears throat> wrestling coach used to say, I don't need any big fancy place. I just need a place to sweat and a place to bleed, and that's all I need. I believe I'm one of the grittiest, toughest dudes out there. I come from one of the hardest working blue collar all the towns in the country and I'm ready to go and show that. Any last thoughts on your mind or something that you want to get off your chest before we wrap this up here? No, no, I'm, I'm ready to go. Everything is free, everything I've said, I've just wanted to say I have nothing left to give except a great performance tomorrow. Let's go, full send baby. Full send.